All right, Coach, along with your uh, – you start your uh, spring schedule for the 12th straight year uh, at this tournament in Hawaii. Uh, traditional opener, you know, that you follow with Puerto Rico and Las Vegas. It's, seen, it's, it's become a tradition in your program to start with these three events. Uh, what is it about this tournament in Hilo that makes you want to go back year after year? Well, obviously, you know, Hawaii's a wonderful place to start with. That's probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not too bad for the coaching staff either. But, uh, you know, this time of year, there aren't that many places that you can play. And one of the things we try to do is spread our tournaments out over a period of time to where we're not going, going, going all the time. So we, our spring probably is spread out as much or more as anybody. So you kind of got to get started somewhere, and, and uh, that's also a nice place to do it. I think another thing that's neat is, uh, you know, you watch the former players play at Kapalua and then the Sony, and that's kind of golf in the nighttime. That's about the only time I get to watch golf uh, at home. And so I think our players get to see those guys playing over there, and it kind of gets everybody's juices flowing to make the trip and get over there and see what they can do once they get to Hawaii. So, you know, those are the, the main reasons. Obviously, you see it's a pretty good field. Uh, the other thing is we don't have a lot of wind here. And uh, you get over there and get the trade wins or the Kona wins. It's a it can be an experience where mm -hmm. one day the golf course plays it you shoot 65 and the next day it's all you can do to break 80. And uh, so I think it's one of those things where sometimes you go over there and experience some real severity. And from that point on, uh, carrying that plane in the wind doesn't seem to be as big a deal. So there's a lot to learn over there. Uh, again, you know, play all over the country. That's something that we like to do and learn different grasses and different different situations. So that kind of is probably a long answer to a really short question. Uh, one of the things about this uh, tournament this year, you've got number one Oklahoma State uh, coming as well as uh, I think 12 of the top 30 teams in the Golf Week rankings. The field might be as good as it's ever been. Yeah, it's their 25th anniversary and they've made a real effort to get those that were there in the beginning or who played in the last 25 years. So and, you know, even in the years past, it's been really, really good because people are thinking the same thing we are. Where else are you going to go the end of January, early in February? So we'll look forward to it. Um, a lot. There's 22 teams in this field. How does that, you know, how do, how does that affect the operation of the tournament? And you know, and 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 you know, I assume it some create some long rounds. We will give the pace of play issue a rest for yeah. three days. Mm -hmm. uh, it's. It's foursomes, it's in carts, uh, but you're in Hawaii, I guess, is the, mm -hmm. the, is the upside that eventually when it's all over, there's, you go do something else. But it is really slow. You have to have a lot of patience because that's just a lot of guys on the golf course at one time. Explain how you uh, arrived at your five uh, for this field. Uh, you know, a lot of times we play low five to start every semester, but just decided that uh, some guys played really well in the fall and kind of wanted to take them along with me uh, over there. So we played low three go. Um, and Kyle uh, played really well and uh, won the qualifying and then Paul Haley and Bo Andrews, Bo, Bo Andrews tied for third, I mean tied for second, so that was second and third. So they were the guys that earned it. And then we had a couple guys that had some difficulties over the holidays. Uh, James White uh, tore a meniscus while he was exercising and trying to do the right thing over the break and then uh, John Tyler Griffin had kind of a family tragedy uh, right before qualifying so those two were actually unable to play at all and uh, ended up picking them when it was all said and done there are two highest ranked guys I believe in golf week uh, both played really well uh, in Greensboro to end the fall and just didn't feel like anybody else in the group uh, played all that well to get get ahead of them even though they didn't play so it's kind of a different way of doing things but uh, I think we're taking a good team over there